Okay, I have a few things to talk about. It's been a crazy day, and I've only been doing stuff for a couple hours so far. But um, I want to take advantage of this this darker side of the room, the way this is um, twisted, and show you some of the marks because now they're showing up a little bit better. You can see how badly they're scarring my face. And this is stuff that no one that knows you could see every day and not make mention of. But these people are purposefully ignoring everything that happens to me. Folks that I um, happen to have encounters with every day. They actually show up saying the complete opposite. So anyhow, when I got up to protest this morning, my protest signs were gone. My protest signs were gone. Now... I didn't have a detective check into the um, surveillance yet because where it's positioned, there's like quite a few different places the person could have went. And um, I I'm waiting to see if they move them because that's happened before as well. Like if they move them to another place. So maybe <sighs> I'll see when I go. Um, so anyhow, just knowing that they weren't there, I went and I got with security, not security, police officers at SOMA. And when I got with the police officers at SOMA, <laughs> they're talking about how much of a problem I am. Um, when I went and I got with the police officer at SOMA, she was telling me, she said, um, okay, I'll go check. And I gave her my paper ID. A paper driver's license um, to you know write and jot down all her information on she got interrupted in the middle of our conversation for a female that wanted a badge a nurse that wanted a badge and um, with the intention to do two things at once she backed out backed out of the doorway and um, took off with it she did not give me the ID back so the entire time she's standing in front of surveillance, we're standing right here in front of both the um, police officer door, window, window to their control room. And then there's a camera that's pointing like literally right down where me and her are having this exchange. Like I said, she took off, she went there, and she comes back, she goes, I didn't find it. She said, but I want you to show me exactly where it is. So we take off and um, we go and we're looking for, I show her where it was. She keeps drilling me though, you know, like about pretty much why I was here, which didn't make sense to me at all, you know, because I was pretty clear with my intent. I told her, I said, you know, I had a friend that was here yesterday and when I stopped in, I set my post, my protest signs off to the side so that I wouldn't be carrying them to the hospital, through the hospital. And you know, the moment that they heard protest, she asked, what are you protesting against? And you can't mention that you can't be doing it here on someone's property. So that that was a little um, alarming. That that's the approach that she took. But um, so we go in and it's out there. I show her and she's like, okay. And we're going back up and I'm telling her, I'm like, well, asking her about my ID. She's like, no, I don't have it. She's like, I gave it back to you. And I'm like, no, you got distracted and you backed out with it and you took off. And she's like, no, I gave it back to you, but I'll check. So she goes in her room and she checks on our way back. And she's like, no, I don't have it. And I'm like, we get back to the light where we're right in front of the window and surveillance again. And she's like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't have your, your piece of paper you know, and um, I'm like, no, I gave you the piece of paper and I'm telling her, you know, exactly what happened. And I'm like, you know, if the surveillance is right here, you know, it caught it all. I'm like, we can just run surveillance. And she's like, no, I'll just go check again. So she goes and she checks again. But now she, I don't know if she called him or if he just showed up, but a guy shows up and he goes and she comes back with him. And they reiterate that I'm not supposed to be on the property. And I told them, I'm like, I get all that part. You know, like, never once did they mention the fact that the trespassing 
um, threats aren't even valid. Like no one wants to address the fact that I was being harassed by Suma Security and covert nurses. No one's talking about any of that. None of it's valid. But you're warning me of criminal trespassing when you shouldn't be warning me of anything at all. So, um, yeah, they go and they check again for the ID. And she's like, no, she handed me a piece of paper. It's not a driver's license. I said, yeah, I told you it was your driver's license in the beginning. That is my driver's license. They are issuing paper forms now before they even, and sending the other ones out in the mail. And so he's like, oh, okay. So, um. She had me check through my paper before he came, like through my folder that I had in hand. And so the entire time I hear them, like they cannot have this woman just show back up with my ID in hand. So they're going to telekinesis it and put it in my folder. He comes back and he insists I check in my folder and I be down if it's not in the pocket. First of all, I'm flipping through the folder doing the same thing I did with her. And he's like, well, what about that pocket, right? A magic trick. You get what I'm saying? What about that pocket right there? And I said, well, look, I'll be down. There's my ID. And took off. And they were both, like, really kind about it, you know what I'm saying? Because they got out of me calling the detectives to run the su surveillance. So they weren't mad about, you know, having to look, the dispute, none of that at all. They were just happy that they got out of it. But this was caught on surveillance. And the entire time I'm telling both of them, I'm like, we don't even have to have this exchange, you know, like we can just surveillance call it all. So anyhow, that happened and that was bullshit. It was complete bullshit. And I'm pissed about my protest signs. This is the second time they've been stolen. The first time was at the university. And the second time was here at the hospital. Or they're at the hospital. I'm at the library right now. So um, that happened. And right after that happened, I'm like, let me go and drop this letter off, you know, at Brian, with Brian, which is the neighbor. So, um, and that's a problem. The only reason they're trying to keep me from getting to my items in the basement is because they need somewhere to put these items that they've stolen from me. They're intending to stage some type of accident. Look, let me tell you something. I told you before time and time again in all of my videos if there should ever be a situation where I'm hospitalized or I have to wake up from anything it's a problem it's a problem it was staged someone attacked me because I don't get sick and I don't live that type of lifestyle so they're tired of me fighting and they're trying to find somewhere to stage these items my ex fiance don't have none of the devices my mom doesn't have the devices my brother my dad my dad all these imposters all these people that they're pretending to be none of them have these devices and they were going to plant them in the basement in my bags to make me look you know what i'm saying when they haven't been able to be found you know like it's this Police are involved, and, 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 you know, reports are being made, and there's nowhere these items can be found, and then suddenly you're going to make them just show up like, no, that's not happening. So anyhow, I go and I drop this letter off, and he just so happens to be pulling in. This is around, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock a.m. And um, I asked him, I said, hey, I said, I was just leaving you a letter. And he goes, yeah, you know, oh, wait, let me tell you. So last night, when they interrupted my sleep, they interrupted it with two things and, and um, two main intentions. They were letting me know that they were going to steal my protest signs, no matter how much I canceled it. <laughs> and they were letting me know that they have a problem with me feeling like Brian wasn't able to go against me. I am the most creditable person these people know. And they have a problem with me feeling like they cannot move against me. They said, I'm tired of her ass acting like we can't go against her. So that's what the whole thing with my mom, that thing that's posing as my mom 
filing a police report. That's what that was about. That's what his reaction today was about. That's what these these encounters that I'm having with people are about. So, anyhow, and I go, um, what? So I say, well, what happened? What did she say? He said she told me that you're just out of it. And I said, really? I said, but well, what does that sound like to you? And he said, it doesn't sound right. He said, and she said that you were, um, if I even saw you around here to call the cops. So these are all uh, directives that she's given to him. Now, this still is a whole man with a mind of his own. You get what I'm saying? Since when do you follow the directives of either of your neighbors, like any of them? So anyhow, I told him, I said, well, you know what, Brain, I said, you know me. And I said, you know how I am. I said, um, that letter has a lot of information in it. I said, well, I'm going to give you some time to read it. And I said, I'll come back for your feedback on Sunday. I said, what's a good time to come by Sunday? He said, oh, oh I'm going to be busy sleeping. I said, so late afternoon? He said, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. And this is a man that talks to me about his issues. <laughs> now acting like he ain't got the time of day. You know what I'm saying? He just was like, you know, I just don't want to be involved. So now when I do decide to get my bags or get something out of my bags there's items that I want to get like it's about to be fall I need fall items so they're just trying to keep me from being able to get to my stuff for one and then hoping that they can pull off one of these absurd acts or plots that they have in mind and you know put some stuff there that wasn't there And now they're talking about how he tries to kill me every night in my sleep. And some days I wake up and he's yelling that I make him sick or get on his nerve every time I open up my eyes. Like they cannot believe that I'm waking up every morning. Um, CVS. CVS memory removal from there I went to CVS oh we ended the conversation um I just was like you know okay I'll come back next Sunday and he was like okay okay maybe or all right all right maybe and I took off my party now there was three witnesses three people that saw me go up there I was just there for a brief moment that day or today <laughs> you know maybe 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 five minutes. Five minutes just stretching it. So. <sighs> so five minutes is stretching it. When I left there, I went to CVS. So I go up the street. I cut across to CVS. When I get to CVS, my entire intention was to see if they had poster boards on sale. Because they had a good sale there. The um, last time I got some. And um, the minute that I walked in, they removed it. Like, just removed it completely from my memory. I go in and I get, like, they have a sale on these. Like, tea. So I get, like, four teas for $2. Great deal. And a freaking um, snack cake. And walk out like <laughs> like that's it they removed it straight from my memory and they didn't put it back until I was so far that they knew I wouldn't turn around okay. this is the type of stuff that happens on a daily basis when I go into somewhere and I set out things that's why most of the time I operate with a list yep. which lets you know why they took my planner and it also lets you know how much details are in there um, surveillance, the officer, first, the 
the letter protest signs because I couldn't kill Okay, so anyhow, when I'm leaving there and I'm headed to the library, I, I take a different route. I go around by the university and then back. Most of the time when they take something from me, they're taking it with the intent to get me to go to a particular place. So they thought that when they took these protest signs that I was going to go to the gym and ask someone, it makes, that doesn't even make sense. So they'll take something at the university and hope that I'll go to the stadium. They'll take something at the library and hope that I'll go to city hospital. They'll take something at general and hope that I'll go to the library. You, you get what I'm saying? They, they hope is always an intent to, to deter me or get me to go in a certain direction because they know if I get flustered or I'm frustrated in one place, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. And nine times out of ten, I'm going to go to the next place that's closest. So when that happened this morning at City Hospital, the gym was the next place closest. They thought it would keep me from not only do they know I'm going to leave, but they, they, the intention is always to keep me from doing what I sought out to do. I always have. Nine times out of ten, I have a plan for my day. So I have a few things that I just know I have to do. Because I wrote that letter and printed it out yesterday and I didn't get to drop it off yesterday. That was the first thing, one of the first things that I was going to do and handle this morning. So, those signs being missing me not being able to go show up and protest. They thought they, I'd just go to the gym and sit in the sauna, I guess, <coughs> and not go and deliver the letter. But after I reported it, I went and delivered the letter. As I was walking to the library, they started changing my face, changing my appearance. And when this happens, I can feel fluids running through the clone's face. And I'm, these, once again, these are things that happen to people all the time, but they're allowing me to feel this. They're allowing me to feel this. And the only reason that they're allowing me to feel what they're doing to me is because they, they want to upset me. They want to upset me. And they've been trying for years now to get me to have a heart attack. Something, I mean, it's, it's incapable for me to do. Like, I, I'm incapable of having that. I don't live the lifestyle for that. I'm too healthy for that. Um... Yeah, so they were trying to change my face. So as I'm walking, I notice that now I have this pull coming on to um, to make my appearance look more satin. When something like this happens, everyone in the area is made aware of it. All of their imposters. I told you they get updates. Sometimes they're passing by. Sometimes things are being done according to who's going to pass by and see me. When some of these people see me with a smile on my face or see me not looking bad and bothered from all the things that they are doing to me, they get mad. They get mad. So these people do things to try to, to drop and droop my face. To try and anger my face. So there's times where they'll attack me about topics specifically with the only intention in mind to anger me. Like they'll just start talking about how their imposter beat my nephew out of nowhere and how they were watching his heart. Their technology is so sophisticated. They're seeing everything that goes on inside. It's a lot like some of the stuff that they show. 
but it's worse. They see like literally everything that's taking place inside. Like for my ex fiance, for example, there's a reason they don't want me with him. They see my insides, my womb, open up for ways for him in ways that it won't for anyone else. And that just goes to tell you how long they've been watching my sex life. So things to anger me, things to change my facial. So the the fluid, whatever they're administering on their end, is just to assist, and it pull, and I have to change physically on my end, change the way that I'm looking to combat it. Um. They started talking about Hollywood. They really, that's their heaven. They don't want me there. They do not want me there. And they keep talking about how I won't ever look at any of those people. How I'm supposed to. Nor will I heal them. They know there's going to be a select few that I would even consider healing. And meanwhile, they're hindering from me from healing my family. And people that I come across. You get what I'm saying? Which makes me. That pineal gland. Our pineal glands. You see it all the time. Like in hidden science you'll see. I wish there was a way. I'm going to have to record this. I'm going to have to record this. Because when I put these on this FaceTime. Thing on a computer. That's it. Like, I don't have a backup. I'll put it on YouTube, and that's as good as it gets. I, and that's somewhat of a backup. You know, anything that's put there can always be retrieved, but you know how that goes. It's best to have your own, especially when people are doing the type of stuff that these folks are doing to me. I'm talking about, I can say, the sky is blue. Pause. Please stack the chairs. <laughs> and they'll take out the sky is blue. And when you see it, all you'll see is, please stack the chairs. And this is stuff that's in my possession. The moment I upload it is... So, and now they're talking about they're going to know that they pulled in someone from every other agency to do stuff that they couldn't do. Because that's another thing. They want me to stop talking about everything that they've done to me. They want me to let some of this shit slide. I'm not letting nothing slide. These people have put me through hell. Hell. And then the only reason I'm not crying and pouring with tears right now is because they have my tear duds, like, on lock. They're not allowing me to grieve. This is all supposed to support the manifestation of a heart attack. You understand what I'm saying? They're not allowing me to grieve. That's the pineal gland. Sensations, touch, temperature, thirst. You know... That, that's all the gland. So anyhow, back to what I was saying. You see it everywhere. You see like the um, the third eye, the image of the third eye and the pineal gland. But you never see one reference as the, you very rarely see one reference as the other or them joint together. Like an overlay of the two. It's just, it's hidden science. That's the part of us that they have access to. That's the part people don't get to tell. naturally because the chip gives them access to our minds that the gland controls all and it keeps people from seeing the true nature of others that's a part of me that they can't change a divine part of me that they can't change so it's the part of you that they're manipulating to get you to dance with the devil, to get you to accept the devil, to get you to, to allow the devil into your life. And when you think about people and how they change, 
no one's supposed to change in the way that you're seeing people change. Growth is gradual. Experience is gradual. But these changes that take place, when they show up, or when they put someone in place as someone that you know, because like I said, sometimes it's just a person that's lived and lived again. It's not always a government agent. When the government agent shows up, it's all bad because they're there to do the dirty work. So these people, they're just trying to live again. And because nine times out of ten, they've attacked everyone you know. That's the problem right now with me. And why they keep entertaining killing me because I'm the only one that knows who these people are not. I know all my folks. I have intimate relationships with all of my people. I know who they are and who they are not. These things are not them. I'm the only one that can bust their bubble. These folks love strangers because strangers don't know who they are. Strangers don't know nothing about them. Nothing about their past. They can't combat their past. They can't tell you anything about these people that they're seeing for two hours at the gym, that they see for an hour at the coffee shop, that they see for a half a day at work, that they go to lunch with a couple hours a day. So now, you need to reevaluate your friendships. This is a video I did a couple days ago and they took it off, like got rid of it. Reevaluate your friendships. I want you to go back at least three years and look at the people that weren't coming around, that are not trying to come around to make things look normal. To make it look like they're not wayward. To make it look like they have people in their lives. Because now they're seeing that the image and the idea of family that the devil has created is unacceptable. A family is not a mother, a father, and some kids. That is not a family. You have aunts, you have uncles, you have cousins, you have grandparents. That's a family. And if everybody ain't mingling, this ain't that. You only separate yourself from folks when, you're, when, when you have an evil intention. And in all cases, when these men show up, they're nine times out of ten narcissistic. narcissistic. Um, and, um, 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 yeah, they do the worst things to these women. And my one of my only regrets during this entire thing is that I, that I got a hold of my nephew's mom when she reached out. And it was too late. Because for the longest she had been coming by complaining, coming by complaining, coming by complaining. And every once in a while I talked to him. But the worse things got and the more she stayed because I don't put up with stuff like that. Sometimes you just need to take a break for a season. You don't let nobody treat you bad. And then it got worse. And it went from complaints to I don't know who this person is. Like, no, I don't know who he is. And I'm like, well, I've been saying that. Like I told you, we all thought this thing was mentally ill. It was mentally ill. And it was only acting out because it found out that the family he was put in was mine. And they knew the moment that I found out I was going to reject, you know, just handle and reject them all. So, um, let me see now. What did I want to say about the hospital? I wrote that for some reason. Yeah, that's my only regret because I could have never known. Think about it. This is like 2013 time frame. And the minute that that thing showed up with its false truths, my people started getting sick. Every time someone accepted a false truth, they got sick and ill. These folks were laying in on them. 
And meanwhile, everything, because everything is intact, I'm able to sense it before it happens. So I could be up in the middle of the night and, and, and feel. And all it is is them. The crazy part is as soon as these people show up, you know where everything is coming from. You know where every thought, every flashed image, every act or um, intent to digress, you know where it's all coming from. So in actuality, I was just hearing them talk about attacking my uncle. I could feel it. I could feel he was in harm, and I be I intervened. I intervened, and that's what I was saying about what took place this past July. Two months ago with my cousin, I couldn't feel anything was wrong. And I'm at the same hospital. He's at suffering on his deathbed. Why they taught me about it. And they threaten my family so much. There's so many innuendos and threats that go on. That how would I have ever guessed that? You get what I'm saying? That planner has like specific stuff that's being said to me, especially when it comes to threats and how they intend to kill people. All that was in there. You can tell me about somebody one day, they'll say, wait, well, wait till she sees such and such, do this, and it'll happen that next day. That's the type of stuff that was going on in my planner. And they figured that once they got rid of the planner, that they could get rid of those. You know what I'm saying? And put somebody else in place and all these other things show up with a completely different impression. And they'll change them again in a little bit. Because I've been tired of these folks trying me. So they're just going to put somebody in place that's that'll probably show up and say something super extreme like, well, you know, I miss you. No, you, nah. Nah, nah. I'm not having that. I'm not having it. This has been going on way too long. This has been going on way too long. The police department ain't looking into nothing. Look at my page. Look at my page. Everything about my page is alarming and it's just full of problem. Everything about it says problem. And it's organized work. You get what I'm saying? This is a problem. This is a problem. When they took Shirley, I'm looking at my face, but when they took Shirley, they didn't want to give back any of her DNA. That's why they killed her. They, they took stuff of hers that they love to have, that have and use. They took stuff from her that they wanted and they were not willing to put it back. So instead they killed her. Cancer is a spirit. That disease is a spirit. It manifests as a spirit. Someone has to attach itself to you for that to manifest. And when it does, you're not the same person. And now they're screaming and yelling, but they don't want these people to realize that these folks are not theirs. I'm telling you, when I tell you, when I tell you what was happening after my mom's heart attack, her second heart attack and stroke in 2008, you're going to be looking at me like, how did you put up with these folks? Because I had to check her demon, like tear it all up, like... And then have no more problems with it. These, th these things were showing up. They know who I am. You get what I'm saying? And the moment that they saw that they could exhaust my funds and attack my life, that's when they started having these people attack me.
that's when they started having these people attack me and pay the attacks not only were they having my people attack me ask me but they also started having those that they have a vested interest in ignored so I have family in Colorado I have family in Georgia I have family where else that's close family Colorado and Georgia that are ignoring this matter my aunts love me. I'm their hero. And these things, they don't know who I am. All they know is that my vibrations have been attacked. They know that they know that the, the part of me, my energetic field has been pierced. So they know that my vibrations that were stretching out three times the normal limb, it's not stretching out as far anymore. So when you're in my space, you're not safe from spiritual field. People would come around me and find peace. People, that's why people would flock to me. You get what I'm saying? Because there was peace in my presence. Now that this is taking place, this stuff is getting close. It's getting close. It touches me. And that's a problem. These people are attacking my vibrations. They're attacking every part of my being. And they want everything that I have. They want my, my DNA in its entirety. They're talking about how they told the officers at the hospital that I wasn't going to do this. And then I came to these other people places and went in. You see how they talk though? You see the lingo? All that, all, all the these other police people places and this other people stuff. How is it somebody with as great a reputation as mine and as great a rapport with people as mine now has no one? Just like the government said they would do. How is it people that don't even have a reason to form against me are trying it? When you ask them, they ain't even got a reason. And one more thing, if you are the person, like kind of the, um, I guess you could call it the breadwinner in your family or the matriarch in your family, watch the relationships and how the extension of relationships around you try to get closer to you. These people all want something from you. The more and more these people close in on you after they've had some type of trauma or some type of anything, the more you lose. Because they're stealing stuff from you in a way that you don't know is being still. Like the, the inability to recall is theft. Those are the type of things, somatic memory, experiences, stuff like that. And then suddenly, those that have never been able to get ahead of life will start being able to get jobs. And you'll hear more and more statements like they turned their life around. And, um, and you'll also notice that um, within your family itself, like I said before, I think I'm, I'm going to have to, I have it private right now because I was hoping that I'd be able to put the first version of it up. But they stole it. It's about, it's called Taz. It's about threats of death. Nothing but government agents and just their triangle, how it works, you know, with their surveillance team and then their empire.
cause their souls to show up in your family and then you you know how all this stuff intertwines and interacts together and how they're using every aspect of that stuff like their um the, the identity that they're taking on the things that they're doing with this this identity that they're taking on but when they show up in your family the stuff will be getting closer and closer it's trying to close in on you but once it gets into your family once a reptile gets in your family people start looking really bad and they're looking really bad because these things need to have seeds and they're filthy and ugly make no mistake about it they're filthy and ugly so they have to take from others in order to produce a product that looks normal they're mutating eggs and it's not until the man is in that body that the egg itself can be mutated they're doing what they're attacking the woman's body on the other side for sure for sure but they're not right you're not able to do anything with my eggs golden eggs <laughs> I, have, I have golden eggs so they're um yeah and then the guy shows up and you know that's how that stuff happens and this demon seed comes about these sh things show up with like a confidence that's impossible a confidence that's impossible um, a way of knowing this impossible and they want you to think the kids are just much smarter these days no they're not learning anything any different in schools than they were learning before these people have selves and understanding they have a sense of identity there was a plan for their life there's someone that's going to manifest as them they're, they're just part of a plan that's all it is And another, and another thing. I know I'm almost like I'm always like another thing, another thing, another thing. Um, these YouTubers are the devil itself. Like you have to um, when you're watching these videos, consider this situation, my situation. How long it's been hidden? How long it's been on their radar? And the release date. Because these people are releasing things according to relation. You get what I'm saying? Related topics um, with no truth. No truth. It's, it's actually a mockery considering the source. <laughs> 